Hi, this is Christy Warnick, and I am here to talk about the Terror Resonator by Peter Schink. And first of all, I will show you the sides of it. And to see how it's got the, the spirals underneath. And without tilting it too much, I will just kind of show you up close what that looks like put together. Immediately out of the box, this, I could feel the energy. And it was very nicely packaged as well. And so you put it together and uh, he has the, the Moldavite separately from all of the other, uh, from the jet and from the quartz crystal. So everything is separate and you just uh, place the items in the, um, in the slots where they go. And what I loved about this was all of the symbols that's on it, um, and and even the packaging, the the cover, it's got the symbols, and I love working with symbols. So they're they're all over the the tear resonator. So it does uh, have that effect. Uh, obviously, it's going to have a lot of energy to it. And so what I did first was I worked with a bowl of cereal and I put the cereal on there and I had checked I wanted to see what exactly so I asked the question what exactly is this going to do I was just leaving it to open to any and all possibilities and the word that came to me was vibration and so I asked if, if that's what it was doing at the time, was it raising the vibration, and I get a yes. So what I did was I put the bowl of cereal on there. It, it was already a higher vibration, because I usually, when I go to the store, I raise the vibration and frequency of things, um, either at the store or when I get home with them. Um, so it was already like an 8.4 or 8.5 when I started, and I left the bowl on there for it may have been about a minute or so and then I rechecked it and after it was like an 8.8 .8, so it had already gone up it was getting closer to a 9 so I'm sure the longer I would have left it on there it would have gone gone even higher and so um, out of 10 that that is that is very good 10 being the highest and best vibration and 0 being the least uh, or the lowest vibration that's very good and so I wanted to kind of have a point of reference with that. So I was using that 0 to 10 scale there. And so next, what I've worked with was uh, New Year's was coming up. So I asked my clients uh, to send me and email me their list of their New Year's resolutions, things that they wanted to manifest and to have and to, to do in the New Year. And so it, the list had their name on it. And it had a list of the things that they wanted. And so what I did was I placed the list. I would place it on the Terra Resonator. I would just sit it on top just like this and just leave it there with the intention that it be a vibrational match for them, the highest and best. Because when you're working with vibrations and you're a vibrational match with something, you manifest it faster you you attract it faster because you're a vibrational match and so that's you know everything is energy so you just work with it that way and so the first list I worked with it was very interesting because her list the vibrational match started out at like a 4.7 out of 10 and so I left the her list on there I just sat it on there with the intention that it be the highest and best vibrational match for manifesting. And I was just leaving it open to any and all possibilities, anything on her list that was equal to or better than, because you want to just kind of leave that open to receive any and all possibilities that are equal to or better than what, what it is that you want. And so, because the possibilities are endless. And so after a few hours, it, I rechecked the the score of it. I took it off and I rechecked the vibrational um, match, and it had gone up to 
a 9.7. So it had gone up five points within a few hours. So the next day I wanted to see was, was that person still at a vibrational match with the list? And it had gone down to a 7.7, .7, but it's still higher than where it started. So what I would suggest is to, if you have a list, you know, you can add to it, you can change it, whatever, but the Terra Resonator is going to help with that vibrational match being raised up to a higher level. And so I would suggest every day or every other day, leaving it on there for an hour or two, um, and just to keep that vibrational match higher. So that's what I did with the lists. And I believe that that's gonna help a lot uh, with with the work that I do and, and with helping people and manifesting and, and any type of energy healing. I believe that it's going to work differently for everyone because everyone is different. Everyone has different beliefs. Everyone um, is, is just going to have a different experience with it. And so far, that's what I've worked with was the vibration. And so I'm sure that it's doing many other things um, because it's, I've just left it sitting on the table and so it's it's probably doing so many things that I'm not even aware of yet but um, so it's gonna be fun to continue to play with that and each morning I eat with my fruit um, a kind bar and so this package of kind bars I did not change the frequency or vibration before I got home from the store or after I got home from the store and I had just gotten these and it was actually testing a lot lower for some reason than what I thought the vibration would be um, just before I put it on the resonator. So it was like a, um, it was probably around a 4.8 um, I think or something like that. And leaving it, I left it on there for probably about an hour or two before uh, I took it off. and because it you can you can leave things on there for like 30 something seconds or for a minute or two but i said i'm just going to leave that on there and see what happens and so i took it off like an hour or so later and it was testing at an 8.8 .8 after that um so it was much higher i mean it went from like a 4.8 or 8 up to an 8.8 .8. So that is a big difference. That's four points. And so that's very good. And, uh, and it, I did put another one on there other than this one, and it did taste better as well. So anything that has an aftertaste or a bitterness to it, I believe that it's it's going to change that. So and, and people have been reporting that as well. It just tastes different. And it doesn't it just doesn't have it like an aftertaste that it normally would or something like that. It just it just has a better flavor to it because it is at a higher vibration. So it is going to taste better. The energy of it's going to be better. And so I, like I said, everyone is going to have different experiences with this, different, um, so many different possibilities. Uh, and I'm, I'm very interested and so excited to have Peter on my show that I'm starting next week. He will be on there January the 16th. It's the Power of Energy Healing, and it's on the Akashic Academy uh, Facebook page. And so it will be every Tuesday at 12, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Time or 9, p uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. And so he's going to be on there uh, January 16th, and we're going to be talking about the Terra Resonator. And so it, I'm, I'm interested to see what else he's found out that he hasn't maybe posted about yet uh, or what he'll find out between now and then. So it's going to be a fun show. It's going to be very interesting, very enlightening. And so this is kind of all new to me and I'm excited to have him on there. And I have invited him to be on there kind of regularly just to... Um, to discuss different products because he has so many different products and it's a 30 minute show and so i was you know you can only talk about uh so, so many things within 30 minutes right and so 
I said, well, let's just do one product, you know, on the 16th of January. And then, uh, so I've invited him back after that to, and we can, you know, do different products and, and just have, you know, talk about those and just see, just uh, hear from Peter about those and, and people can ask questions and things like that. So that's going to be real, really, really fun. And that's what I suggest with the Terra Resonator. Have fun with it. Just experiment with it. Play with it. Hopefully it's going to be ready uh, for everyone to purchase uh, by the end of this month. Uh, Peter will keep you updated on that, I'm sure. And just go out and have fun with it. And um, definitely be open to any and all possibilities. Thank you.